Hi, I'm Joe Elliott. This is Phil Collin. I am Rick Savage. Hi, I'm Viv Campbell. I'm Rick Allen. We are Def Leppard. You're listening to Def Leppard Radio. Radio. We're going through our new album, Diamond Star Halos, track by track. Including exclusive commentary from us in the band. This is Diamond Star Halos, track by track. On Def Leppard Radio. Sirius XM. Hey, this is Viv Campbell from Def Leppard with another track from our new album, Diamond Star Halos, on Def Leppard Radio. Take What You Want is a sad song. Personally, when I first heard I got real excited and uh, it's very up-tempo, high-energy song. I think it was what we really needed at that point in the record. When I first heard it, I thought this is going to be great. I even thought this would be a great opener. And it happens to be the first song on the record. Hey, this is Phil Collin of Def Leppard with a track from their new album, Diamond Star Halos, on Def Leppard Radio. Kick was the last song to be written for the album. Actually, it wasn't actually written for the album. I wrote it with a friend of mine, songwriter Dave Bassett, and we were attempting to write a rock anthem. I played the song, the demo to Joe, and he said, you can't give this to anyone else. This is a Def Leppard song. So it became a Def Leppard song. It was the last one. We had like 14 songs. It's, it's really exciting. It is a rock anthem. Everyone gravitated towards it. Everyone said, oh my God, I've been dying to hear this kind of sound from Def Leppard, you know, screaming in a stadium. It's got, you know, the big guitars, big vocal catch line. And it, it sounds cool. It doesn't sound like it's, uh, it's, it still has integrity. And it's very hard to write, you know, those, those anthems. We're always trying to write uh, the next we will rock you or pour some sugar on me or that kind of song. It's, you can imagine it in a stadium. My name is Phil Collin and I'm in the band Def Leppard. You're listening to a new album, Diamond Star Halos, track by track on Def Leppard Radio. Fire It Up was one of the first songs. I actually didn't know we were doing an album. When COVID kicked in, they said it's locked down and you can't go to Dublin to record. We just started getting on with other things. This was a, another song, actually, I, I wrote it with um, a guy called Sam Hollander. This sounds great. It's big guitars, big drums and, and chants and a chorus that you can sing along to. And, and really cool lyrics. Sam, Sam kind of knocked it out of the ballpark for that. Again, it was I was just writing for the sake of writing rock songs and rock anthems. And again, this would be so classic as a Def Leppard song. We all also saw a, a, a kind of a pattern emerging that these songs really had a feel like the, the 70s and, and when we first got into to music, seeing David Bowie on top of the pop still or Mark Bolan, we would reference, especially me and Joe would reference the era, you know, Fire Up, Kick, really fall into that category of, of, of that era and, and what when we all got into music for the same reason, you know? This is Joe Elliott from Def Leppard with a track from our new album, Diamond Star Halos. This guitar was actually written by Phil and his good friend CJ Banson in 2003. So as I speak, it's 19 years old, this song, and yet to be heard by anyone yet, as far as I'm aware. I've been a champion of this song for decades now. Because we hadn't recorded a note yet, I said, can we please at last try this song? I thought it was too good a song to just sit in that kind of watery grave that it was in. Vivian put some great slide guitar on it. There's some lovely pedal steel on it, which gave it its country kind of lilt, I suppose. And uh, right towards the end of the project, it just because of things working out the way they did, Alison Krauss came back into our orbit and we asked her if she fancied singing on this song and she, she couldn't wait to do it. She was an absolute yes from the get-go. It was a real pleasure to finally get her on a Def Leppard album. to our new album, Diamond Star Halos. Plus commentary on each track. This is Def Leppard Radio, Sirius XM. SOS Emergency. This is one of five songs that me and Phil wrote over the internet, uh, over the phone, over emails and MP3s. Phil had the backing track pretty much finished. 
and he had a chorus, but uh, he didn't have any verses or bridges. So he sent it to me and said, do you want to finish this one off? And I said, great, okay. So this one was actually quite simple to do, just taking all the off spins of any SOS emergency situation. So there's all references to cardiacs and cardiacs being arrested. And But it's a fun rock and roll song, like in a, in a typical Def Leppard style. It's got all the energy that we'd want in a song. I was at home in Dublin and I came up with this idea of doing some woes in the bridge. And coincidentally, at the exact same time in Sheffield, England, Rick Savage was writing exactly the same woes. So it just shows you how much on the same page we were, even if we weren't even in the same country. Hey, this is Phil Collin of Def Leppard with a track from our new album, Diamond Star Halos, on Def Leppard Radio. Liquid dust um, has almost like a world music sound. It's, it's kind of got like almost like East Indian style percussion and stuff like that. Uh, we are liquid dust, you know, we're living, breathing bodies, you know, with blood flying around our veins and we end up as dust. And it's just about turning into dust, really, as, as human life and everything. And uh, we go through that. So try to reflect it with the kind of music as well. It was it kind of related to that. And again, why why thing has a kind of an Indian feel about it. That also went into the next track, You Rock Me, which starts with a ukulele and it g- goes booming into this big, you know, rock chorus. Uh, Joe suggested linking the two tracks on the album, Liquid Dust and You Rock Me, because they, they both had this world music kind of percussion, if you like. track by track through our new album Diamond Star Halos and providing some insight into each of the songs you're listening to Def Leppard Radio Sirius XM hey this is Phil Collin from Def Leppard you're about to hear our song You Rock Me from our new album Diamond Star Halos This is Joe Elliott from Def Leppard with a track from our new album, Diamond Star Halos. Goodbye for Good This Time is one of two songs that yours truly wrote on a piano. Nothing new to me, but definitely new to Def Leppard. In fact, I dare say pre-pandemic, we may have not gone with this idea, but we were so fertile in, in our songwriting and so open-minded to anything that we brought to the table, including as Phil alluded to on uh, You Rock Me, ukuleles broadening our, our horizons out of desperation because we were stuck in lockdown, making an album where we never even saw each other for two years. But I was just writing for my own amusement. I wasn't writing for anybody particularly, but I played the song Goodbye for Good This Time to everybody and they seemed to dig it. So we took it to the next level. We got a string arrangement by our good friend, Eric Gorfain. And it just so happened that because I'd written it on the piano, didn't necessarily mean that I was gonna make my debut as a pianist on a Def Leppard record. I'm rather rudimentary in my playing, so we were kind of wondering who we'd get. And taking the the uh, kind of direction of somebody as iconic as David Bowie, who was sensible enough when he wrote Life on Mars to get Rick Wakeman to actually play it, we decided to give Mike Garson a call because I'd been working with Mike Garson for a couple of years now on some David Bowie tribute shows. Um, I gave Mike a quick email, so he did a quick guide. Uh, a couple of days later, we got this email from him with an MP3 going, what do you think of this? And it was fantastic. And myself and Phil specifically were all over this because we're huge fans of Aladdin Sane, which is Mike Garson's introduction, or our introduction to Mike Garson, who is by definition an avant-garde jazz pianist. And we thought, well, what could possibly go wrong with having an avant-garde jazz pianist on a Def Leppard song? Well, the answer is nothing because it worked out an absolute treat. Uh, one of two songs that he played on and we were ecstatic with the way that it turned out. This is Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. We're going track by track through our new album, Diamond Star Halos. You're listening to Def Leppard Radio on Sirius XM. All we need 
This is yet another song that myself and Phil wrote. It's always just an instrumental piece that was probably the closest song on the album to anything that we've done in the past. Most songs on this album reference what influenced what we became and us wanting to be musicians. So a lot of these songs reference other artists more than ourselves. But I do think that All We Need has got echoes of Animal and the song Hysteria in its makeup. So it was just a case of making sure that we weren't too close to it. So I just I just ran with it. I tried to write a nice, clever lyric that made sense, that flowed nicely. It's all about getting from the beginning to the end without any lumps and making sure that there's something for people to get their teeth into if there's something to sing along with. It's just a nice little mid-album song that um, leads beautifully into the next one. Hey, this is Phil Collin of Def Leppard with a track from our new album, Diamond Star Halos, on Def Leppard Radio. Open your eyes. We got really excited about this one. It almost sounded a bit um, dark and, and a bit indie at first, but, uh, but when everyone started doing their thing, Sad played bass on it, and I actually think this is the best bass sound on any Def Leppard album. Uh, he was using, you know, a Fender position he had at home, and. It just added to all this stuff and all of a sudden it just had a, a different thing. It was a different way of recording to what we normally would have done. And uh, everyone's left to put in their own parts on their favorite parts or the favorite bass or what was in the house or whatever, because everyone's in their own, own house at the time. So anyway, um, he did this this bass and it, it just turned into this just wonderful kind of dark song, you know. And may I add, this is Joe, Phil Collins' best ever guitar solo, as far as I'm concerned, on the end of the song. Thank you. Thank You're you. very welcome. We are Def Leppard. We're listening to our new album, Diamond Star Halos. We'll go through the whole album, track by track, track, by track, track, track. with all the guys in the band, on Def Leppard Radio, Sirius XM. This is Joe Elliott from Def Leppard with a track from my new album, Diamond Star Halos. Give Me A Kiss That Rocks. This is how it came to me. Phil says, I've got this song called Give Me A Kiss That Rocks. And I instantly started thinking of Jagger. I just thought this was like a Jagger type thing, like Start Me Up or something where there's a bit of good natured humor involved in it. You've got a song title like that. It's a bouncy tune. It needed a bouncy lyric. So I just started working on it. And the first thing that came to mind was just the line, oh, what a night. And that, that just became the opening line, and it, I couldn't feel better. I don't know just where to begin. All of a sudden, you, you, you're scrambling around straight away in those three lines. Yeah, I've got a story to tell, but I don't really know how to get it going. So there's a kind of a humorous play on desperation within the lyric on this song. I remember when we saw the videos for the Stones, when they were putting videos out for the Tattoo You album, there was a humor amongst the way that they behaved with each other in front of the camera on things like Start Me Up. And I just wanted it to sound like the Start Me Up video looks. And I think we kind of pretty much pulled it off. Give me a kiss that rocks. From the band Def Leppard, I'm Rick Allen. You're listening to our new album, Diamond Star Halos, track by track, and our thoughts on each song. This is Def Leppard Radio. Hey, this is Joe Elliott from Def Leppard with a track from our new album, Diamond Star Halos. Angels Can't Help You Now, one of two songs that yours truly wrote on a piano, the other one being Goodbye For Good This Time, yet another great string arrangement by Eric Gorfain. They added a, a, another dimension to the record, having these two kind of piano-esque, Elton-ish type things. Eric's string arrangements come from a rock perspective as opposed to a classical perspective. He's a, a rock and roller with classical abilities as opposed to a classical arranger that wants to do rock and doesn't really get it. There's bits on it where you're going, my goodness, this really does sound like James Bond theme stuff, you know? It's the drama that the strings and the piano add to a, a relatively dramatic song in the first place. These songs really thread beautifully with all the other stuff that we do. Hey, this is Phil Collin of Def Leppard with a track from our new album, Diamond Star Halos, on Def Leppard Radio. 
so lifeless. I, I had the intro and the verse and musically, and I had an idea for a chorus that was kind of just really sad and empty. You know, someone had lost someone and something. And this is another one that me and Joe done. I, Vivian done this fantastic solo in it. Before you know it, this thing actually had this really great sound and feel about it. And it, it kind of slipped in and kind of sounded country, but just leaning that way. It still sounded like a rock band. And then this was the other song that Alison Krauss sung, you know, because they, they lent in that direction, you know, lean toward country. She said, can I do this and this guitar? And that kind of topped it off. And she sounds, again, angelic. She, she added all these uh, queen type vocals done by Alison Krauss. That's kind of what she done on here. And so this was just kept expanded every time we heard it, a, a new kind of dimension to it, like lyrically, sonically, you know, vocally and everything. It just ended up being just lovely and something that we wouldn't normally have done. We're listening to our new album, Diamond Star Halos. Plus commentary on each track. This is Def Leppard Radio. Sirius XM. Hey, this is Joe Elliott from Def Leppard with a track for my new album, Diamond Star Halos. Unbreakable. You know, there's one great thing about being a rudimentary guitar player is like never lose your ability to be naive. Because, you know, once you know everything, you just kind of know where to go. Um, it's the only song I wrote of the three I wrote on the guitar. The intro is a little bit ACDC, I should think, like a kind of a, for those about a rock type thing, a little bit, not too much. But then when it kicks in as a song after the intro vocal, it kind of goes into the in excess Simple Minds U2 territory of these stabby electronica guitars, which leave big holes for me to sing between. And then he kicks into this massive big Def Leppard type chorus where everybody gets to sing big parts, very, you know, them, me, them, me kind of arrangements for the backing vocals and the lead vocal. It's got a brilliant middle section where, again, Vivian played a fantastic solo on this. My two favorite Vivian solos are Lifeless and this particular song. So it's just one of those great kind of uh, mid-tempo songs that defies the description because it doesn't really sound like Def Leppard, yet it is. It's unmistakably love. Hey, this is Viv Campbell from Def Leppard with another track from our new album, Diamond Star Halos on Def Leppard Radio. From Here to Eternity is another Sav song, high drama song. You can tell the Queen influences right off the get go and spark. Yeah, the very start of the song. Funny story about this. I actually really like my guitar solo in this one. You know, we're all recording at home and I, I sent this solo file over to Dublin to Ronan to insert into the track and he put it in and he sent it out to everyone and I was listening to it and uh, it started in the wrong place from where I originally played it, but it sounds so much cooler, so we left it in. Anyway, great song, great high drama rock song and a lovely way to close out with what is a very, very beautiful album. been listening to Diamond Star Halos, the new album from Def Leppard, track by track, as Def Leppard Radio continues on Sirius XM.